bird feeder as well as a camera so it could capture that hummingbird and other types of birds with liquid sugar juice and we're going to go hang this up show you what it looks like and how to set it all up we have the bird feeder that you apply seeds or the liquids to and a bird bath the hummingbird feeder you have the usb cord a little tree strap and a handlebar attachment and thumb bolt that they give you you have here is for another camera mount that attaches to a standard camera you have the instruction guide and you're going to download an application to grab the pictures of your bird on the back you have a tripod area so this way you can put the little thumb bolt on and you can put the handlebar on different areas to capture different places for this unit you have here is a USB-C and an on and off button to get the camera going in the front. In order to add bird feed, simply slide the front open, close when all done. On the unit, it has a protective film that protects the camera. Please peel off. Put in your liquid for the hummingbird. Slide on the front like so. Snap down. You have here is a water tray that you can place on as well. Like so. To add in the hummingbird juice and nectar, you lift the cover up, place in, place the cover back on, and refill when necessary. Also on the bottom, right over here where I'm pointing, is a 1 quarter 20 thread as well. On the sides right here, you're going to push the strap through. Again, in the back of the unit, it's going to be your on and off and your charging cable area. Plugging in, there's a red light. We are charging. On the back of the unit, above the... The CAC plug, the USB area, is a TFT card slot. As you see, I'm removing that they give you a 32 gig card. You simply place it back in and you're ready to film away. As we go through the instruction, we have a camera mode, video mode, camera plus video mode. On the back over here is your on and off switch. You're going to turn the unit on. You're going to see a blue light and they say to press the mode. Now, you just don't press the mode once. You've got to press it maybe twice, but it will come on saying camera, setting, playback, camera, video, and video. I'm going up on a button, and there's a down button. So if we go into the actual settings of the unit, we hit the OK, and we're able to go up and down. We have burst. We have time video. So let's go this particular way here. We have the date and time, a volume, we have resolution VGA, 720p and 1080p, as you can see right there. And we click OK, we go to the next one, and we have the size up to 12 megapixels, the timestamp, auto off in a matter of minutes, the LCD on and off, the language, the system reset, and the version, and to format the card and a back to video time, which you can set up to like three to five minutes. Now, if we back out of this, we hit the mode button and we go into the up, uh, we go into the video, we press OK, we are set up for video, we see a blue light. Now, these are lights, I don't know how to get them on, They're a little difficult for me to do, but they will shine and take a picture and so forth. So all we got to go do now, right now, is go set this up on a tree or put it somewhere where you like. I want to put my bird feeder right here. So I want to wrap this up <clears throat> a number of ways. I tie this up the best I can. This will capture birds coming in, depending on if you have other birds. And we're going to put the hummingbird feeder on. This has a stand as well. Given time, you'll capture many birds like cardinals, songbirds, finches, blue jays, mockingbirds, depending on the birds in your area, even hummingbirds. I hope this is a product that you're looking for to capture your birds. 
at a bird feeder. Enjoy your product if this is what you are looking for.